All right, your call's coming uh, straight ahead. I, I'm sorry, man. I, I just, I never like to lose it on the air. I don't. But you know what? I have friends that are gay, and they, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't be in the same zip, zip code with this crap. If you're one of these perverted sodomites that is trying to get legislation for you to do everything that will stand still long enough for you to do it, guess what? You're in the minority, and guess what? We're not taking it anymore. Mayor Sanders, either reverse your position, do what you said you'd tell you were going to do when the people voted for you, or step your ass down. Tony Atkins and the rest of the city council, you're telling me you got everything taken care of and squared away? Oh, yeah, Rick, everything's squared away in San Diego. Oh, let's see, what are we going to do now? Oh, I know. Let's join the same-sex bandwagon because a handful of perverts in Hillcrest, what, because they, they, they contributed money to your campaign? Because you like them? They're kind of cute? What the hell's the deal? That's not why you were elected. You weren't elected to change the sexual uh, persuasion of San Diego. You were elected to try and improve the quality of life. And guess what? You're not doing it. You got a clean house. The whole damn city council ought to be fired. Mayor Sanders ought to be fired. You're not going to get this in the mainstream press because uh, they don't have the cojones to tell you the truth because uh, they're so tightly lockstep connected at the hip with the politically correct crowd, you want to? Well, Rick, the the Folsom Street thing is all for charities. It, it's it's all for charities, Rick. Really, it's all for charities. When you think of charity, what do you think of? What do you think of? Huh? How about this? Let me tell you some of the events going on, funded by taxpayer dollars. The Eat and Beat Munch and Dragon Dungeon Party. A diverse group of kinky and or poly folks. We meet at the Soma restaurant, then stroll to a local dungeon for an evening of relaxed, friendly, no heavy cruising, no expectations, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, something else. Um, uh, more details at this website. The Hard and Dirty. The Hard and Dirty. We've teamed up with the official host of uh, the kick off the party Manny Lehman and resident Luke Johnstone provide the hard and dirty I can't read that um, black and blue pirates of the leather party we kick off the leather week at the powerhouse cabin boys shackles treasure hunt grog and more I most of this I can't read you're invited to our big 10-year party I can't read that cake man appetizers Go go men. Flash your blank for a buck off all night. I can't read that. Um, two hours of free flowing, unmoderated demonstrations on a wide variety of kink, fisting, cutting, fire play, temporary piercings, flogging, single tail, taser play, suspension, bondage, and much more. A Dark Night of Bondage, Kink and Play, featuring the Hot House movie and their stars. Come out and play with Naked Sword during our Folsom Street Fair kickoff. I can't read that. Can't read that. Meet hot porn guys from your favorite studios. Drink, eat, and get down and dirty. This month's lube job is benefit the Stop AIDS Project. Well, I got news for you. If you weren't doing the lube job, you wouldn't need to worry about AIDS. Uh, I, I can't read most of this. Most of this I can't read, even though your tax di dollars are paying for it. The beneficiaries, they say this is all going to charity. The AIDS Emergency Fund, the Berkeley Free Clinic, <clears throat> the Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, Transgender Historical Society, the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus, the Stop AIDS Project, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, the Transgender Law Center, and it goes on. Welcome to Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what this is, pure and simple. I don't know any other way to describe it. San Francisco I may be lost. I don't know. And at this point, I really don't care. I just know I don't want San Diego to turn into San Francisco. And with the elected leadership we have right now, we're probably a whisper away. Tim, Tim in Palos Verdes. Uh, Tim, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Rick. Hey, you know, it sounds like you're making that stuff up, but, man, I sadly I know you're not. It's just disgusting. Anyway, I, I wanted to uh, throw my support in this in a little different direction. 
I want to challenge the restaurant owners down there to, you know, you know, ban the uh, sale of the Miller products like you had asked. And uh, cause I'm coming down to San Diego tomorrow, actually, for a week of vacation. And anybody that calls in and does so, hey, baby, I'm coming to your restaurant to support you so I can do my part to support this. And I challenge all the listeners out there to do the same. Hey, you guys, you got to step up to the plate, man. It's, it's, it's time to throw down the gloves. It's, well, San Diego's yeah. general, you're, I'm sorry, Tim, where are you from again? I, I'm from Palos Verdes, just up the road. Okay. Uh, San Diego, generally speaking, when the, when uh, there's there's an issue on the table, people come forward like I've never seen. We, you know, the cross the top Mount Soledad, Jessica's Law. Uh, I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. But having said that, you know, we've got some leadership down here, Tim, that is uh, less than desirable. We've got a mayor that said he would not support same-sex marriage, instead civil unions as a, a reasonable compromise. I agree with that. Um, and then he comes on blubbering on national television about the fact that his daughter's gay, and he's been wrestling with this fact, and now he's going to reverse himself and uh, go ahead and sign off that San Diego would like uh, to be a supporter of same-sex marriage. We've got an openly gay city council member, Tony Atkins, that for whatever reason, I guess doesn't have enough to do in her particular district, that now we've got to make gayness the issue. We've got a gay, lesbian, and transgender pride parade uh, that put firefighters that didn't want to be in the parade, ordered them to go to the parade, and now we're, uh, you know, mincing words with, well, we're going to kind of change the policy, and the policy, well, we'll kind of do the volunteers. I'm, I'm sick of all the gayness, Tim. I'm sick of it. It shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't be the headline of the day. It shouldn't be something that uh, the city fathers waste their time with. And if you're going to suspend the laws in order for Sodom and Gomorrah to play itself out on the city streets at the taxpayer uh, expense, I say that's enough. And as a Christian myself, I'm getting a little sick and tired of being the target du jour for every leather boy around. If you're a leather boy, you can go to hell or San Francisco. I don't care.